Hello, this is Jaden Max, and I'm playing a new game. This is going to be part of the other games I play series. I don't know anything about it. Matter of fact, I'm just getting, I'm just starting up for the first time now, and so you're seeing this as I'm seeing it. Though I am going to cut away of once I start the gameplay because I'll probably do some configuration changes and whatnot. To begin, move the mouse pointer around and look for things to click on that might help Lily on her adventure. If this is as simple as the interface is, I may not need to do any configuration. So far, it's, I like the animation. Um, uh, this stuff, this stuff is all pre-rendered, I suppose. The, a lot of the, uh, let's see, please press the help button and look for a glowing hint on what to click on next. I see. Though it's pretty obvious that we're supposed to click on this. Hold on. But I, I downloaded this demo. This is just a demo. And I downloaded it because it looked very interesting, very unique. The kind of game experience I'm always on the lookout for. Oh, ouch. I wonder if I was supposed to do something to help her there. Here's some. Oh. So this is kind of, this is like a point and click adventure apparently. I'm not actually doing a whole lot. Except for clicking on things that look interesting. And so things seem to be happening naturally. Click and drag to look around. Double click to zoom and in and out. Okay, click and drag. Like that. There's not a whole lot of looking about to do. At least not right now. Okay, now I got, actually got control of her. So I can click her to go to places and see things here. I love this music. I really want her to go over here, because this looks... Oh, can we use this? So this is definitely... If anybody out there, you know, anybody out there under the age of, I don't know, 15? Back in the 90s, these kind of point-and-click adventures were, were really popular. I, I used to play a few myself. I can't adjust the volume. They're just now giving me that control. Oh, there's a boy over there. I want those glasses. I saw them first. Um, I don't really want to hit help. If this is the kind of game where you have to hit help all the time in order to know. Oh, I'm controlling the boy now. What about the girl? I didn't know it was supposed to be about this guy. Okay. So I got both these kids looking at stuff here. I can click on this. Okay. And so... Did that grow? I didn't. don't remember seeing that before. So she's trying to get up. Can he help her? Mm. Okay. So I got these two kids, and then I got to use them to help each other. So now he can reach that. There we go. Oh, and she has a hoop she can use now to repair that with. Oh, so this is kind of interesting where the two kids, they're just kind of both doing their own thing, but what one kid does will help the other kid. I don't know if the gameplay is going to be like that the entire game. I kind of like that as a mechanic, though this is a little more contrived than what I was expecting. So far, it's kind of a nice story. Yeah, I know. You want that rope. 
And right now it's not looking like I can click on anything there to get that. What about you, kid? What can you do? He's just sitting there looking at that. She's looking at that. I'm still looking at how this is burning here. And that's where we ultimately want to get to. I don't know... Oh, can I... No. Uh, do I need to zoom in? I really like the artwork here. But I'm starting to get a little frustrated with the control and the actions. Okay, I don't like I don't want, like hints. Oh, what? <laughs> How am I supposed to know to use that? Um. Oh, yes, there we go. There, and that should f make that fall down. There we go. So this is the first, just the first stage, and what often happens in the first stage is you're just giving kind of a practice of the mechanics of it. How you move your character, what things look like when you can interact with them. Oh, and there is, it seems like there is a timer to the help. That's good. Uh, so you can't just press help the whole time. Oh, should I? Huh? I keep she I keep taking her to try to go what the what also she does know him <laughs> yeah that was totally unexpected <laughs> okay so let's get some fruit because I can click on that the fruit seems to be kind of special. Oh, there we go. Let's get on that because it's going to go down in a moment, right? Oh, where'd she go? Oh! Um, oh, there we go. Slide across on that. Over here. So this is a nice. This is. I'm. I'm kind of enjoying this, though. I'm kind of wanting some more interaction. Where do we? How can we get a little further in the game? Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this looks like the story. We have to track down this boy. Uh, they look like maybe brothers, a brother and sister. But what's what the real hook of this revolves around these glasses that he holds. They're supposed to be. It's supposed to be something about. Wow, that's some scarfies right in there. It's supposed to be something about passing back and forth between two types of reality. And I think these goggles are the key to that. Let's get some reeds. Light those. Can we burn that? There we go. Okay. Gotta hurry because it's probably going to grow back up and block that. Uh, I want those! <laughs> This is kind of like the, the portal gun in Portal, where you know you're going to use it, you know it's going to be cool when you get it, and they they make it so that you can see it before you get it, but that you, you have to jump through some hoops before it becomes yours. Uh, interesting. Um... Interesting. What if I do that again? Oh, 
Okay. Let's put the frog back on his bubble. Can we do that? Okay. We come down here. So, so, oh, 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 I get it now. Let's make a few more stepping stones. Then. There we go. And grow that up. And then we'll get one more. So I am starting to like this game. I'm starting to get into the puzzle. This, before that, they were just kind of telling you to do stuff like a tutorial. Now it actually is starting to look like... A matter of being given real puzzles and with the hope that we'll solve them. Oh, I see, I see. So that's not what I want. Let's bring that back over here and inflate that, inflate that again. There we go. And then let's come over here and walk up there. So I'm starting to see how this is how this is working now. This is starting to make sense to me. They I would have liked a little bit more explanation at the very beginning. Is this too big now? Oh yeah, it is too big. I would have liked some a little more explanation at the beginning about the story, about the relationship of these two characters. Um, a little bit about who she is. Uh, I know it's kind of like, like Legend of Zelda was, where you didn't get any backstory, you're just kind of tossed into the world. And that's kind of what they did with this, but I still would have liked, I think we could have done with some more backstory to this. Keep in mind, I, I have yet to actually finish the first Legend of Zelda game, just because I never got into it, never really understood it enough to really get into the backstory. Ooh, it's still too big? Hmm. Okay, let's come back over here. But this kind of game, these point-and-click adventure games, the whole point is that you get put in these worlds and I'm thinking I'm going to need to let's come down here and how's that going to work they're not going to move are they okay because we're going to have to do this all over again <laughs> I'm going to cut out here and cut back once I got this done. I got it figured out. We're going to need a small bubble, medium bubble, and a big bubble in order to get up there. So I'm going to go ahead, do the same mechanic here, and, and work that out. Okay, and so we got it almost figured out here. Just need to decrease the size of this bubble. And I think we're ready to do it. Okay, can I go on ahead and... There we go. And there she is. She's a nice, happy little girl. So, if, if this is a progression, then I'm, I'm starting to get it. Before, the puzzles before didn't have much going on with them. Ooh, no going back now. But as we continue, those the puzzles get more and more complicated. And I'm hoping that there's more machines like this as we continue on the game. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> so that is the alternate reality uh, behind the goggles there. Press button to look through goggles. Interesting. So... It'd be nice to go back, but it doesn't look like there's any way back. So let's keep going forward. Whoa, down the rabbit hole!
So this is just a demo. I don't have the full game. I'm not sure if I want to buy the full game just yet. Uh, if I do, I'm, I'm pro as with other games in this series, they're not games that I'm planning to start a full series with. I just want to show you the game, uh, give you a look at other games I play, because I like these kind of games that are odd and out of the or ordinary. Uh, they don't make some, well, I guess I could make a video series out of this, but uh, I don't think I will. You don't see a lot of these games featured in these gameplay videos because of their unique nature. So, but I'm going to try to bring you more games like this and some games that are a little less unique, but games I like anyway, uh, as part of this series. Let me see. Uh, let me pass through this window here and then before I call it the end of the series or end of the end of the video. Uh, is there anything further I can go through here? Uh, I'm not getting as I, I'm, I'm going to hate this button by the time I'm done with this game, but once again, I don't see any other choice. Oh, wait a second. Let's take off these glasses. Ooh. Oh, and there he is. Okay. What the world kind of scarf is that? Okay, at least here I got a way across. There we go. But that's interesting. I wonder... It looks like... I thought the glasses at first were, were the future, but... It's obvious now they're showing the past. Okay, I can walk across? Okay. And I knew, I knew this going into the game. It's one of the things that, that interested me about this game. One of the reasons why I wanted to play it. Is this idea that you have to go back and forth between these two realities in order to progress in the game. So you might see something that you want to get to and interact with in this reality, but you can't. Like here, there's nothing to interact with. There's a bird, but I, I would normally like to say, Oi, hello, uh, can you help me out here? Because he looks like an interesting character, but I'm not able to do that. But if I go over here, what's over here to interact with? Oh, there's a pipe. Oh, and I can't take the pipe back with me, okay. Uh, what am I supposed to use this for? Uh, pull it over... Oh, 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 nope, doesn't go in there. <laughs> it looks like it should go there, water spigot or something. Uh, maybe water could pour in or out of it. Uh, oh, it went back, okay. Well, can I give it to her? Nope. Can I have her? I can't have her walk anywhere. Okay, turns out I don't have to have the pipe to get down here. Well, she's trying to interact with that, trying to turn the wheel, it won't turn. Can I pull this lever? Is that a lever that can be pulled? Oh, yes it is. Oh, okay, that was locked. I just unlocked that. So now this should work, right? What if I turn that off? Can I get that to come down? Ah, okay, I got it now. There we go. Let's connect that. Turn that around, and then we gotta come over and grab that, right? Okay, girl, come over here. You gotta run, grab it, grab it, grab it. Uh, okay, that's apparently not it. Ah, I see. We got a little Rube Goldberg thing going on here. 
you notice I'm speaking in I'm speaking in hushed tones because it's just the mood of this game kind of calls for. I am feeling good about this game now. I'm like rooting for the little girl here. Um, I I said at the beginning how I wish it was more interactive, but uh, now I'm kind of like, go girl, go. <laughs> so it's, it, I don't have the same feeling that it needs to be. I feel now that I understand its interaction. Uh, is he going to go off and help Link? <laughs> I kind of expected him to say, give him, say, woo, here's some advice about where you should go in the game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm up here. Let me go back to this side. And... Oh, where's she? Oh, what? I'm back down here. What was the point in that? Pipe go. Oh, and the pipe's gone. Oh, I can climb back up again. Okay. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to figure this one out, but I think I got it now. If I can just put the brakes back on this thing here. There we go. And I'll climb back up there. Go to our other world. I should be able to climb across that and get to the vine there. Come on, girl. You can do it. There you go. But Lily. <laughs> of course. There you go, Lily. You can do it. Um, let's change this over. And walk across again. There we go. And I am really liking this. Um, it's I've only started using Steam very recently. And this is why I started using it. And I'm glad it's, it's living up to my expectations. It gives me access to two new games that I haven't played before. Games that give me a, a unique experience. Um, and this is definitely unique and I'm enjoying this. Anyway, she's going to climb up to the next next picture, but I'm going to end the video here. If you like this video, please give me a like uh, and subscribe is great. This game is called Lily Through the Glass, I believe. Okay, that's the end of the demo. Good. Uh, perfect timing. So yeah, it's called Lily Looking Through. Sorry. Lily Looking Through. It's available on Steam. I recommend going to check it out. You can play through the demo yourself. And if you like it, go ahead and buy the game. Uh, anyway, this is Jaden Max, and I'll play you later. Bye. I like looking at these mega builds. It's not the kind of thing I normally build because I never know what to do with that kind of space. Wow. That's a, a nice use of space right there. And that's probably more along the lines of what I. I'll be doing. That's definitely what I usually do. Is I don't build a large house to live in, but I like to have. I like to develop a lot of land around where I 